Halloween time and the holidays are the two most popular times at the Disneyland Resort. But which one is better, Halloween time or the holidays? This is a tough question. I love them both, but I'm going to give you all the information about each season in the parks and then you can decide for yourself. Hi, I'm Melissa with Mix and Some Magic. I did a poll of all my community members on Instagram asking them which was better, Halloween time or the holidays, and the results kind of surprised me. I'll share them with you in a bit, but I want you to think about your favorite at the Disneyland Resort. I know it's really hard to pick. I have people all the time say, I can't pick, I love them both, but gun to your head, you have to choose Halloween time or the holidays. Think about it. Don't tell me yet. I'll ask you again in a minute. First, let's talk about everything going on at the Disneyland Resort at Halloween time. Halloween time starts in late August and runs through October 31st. Wait a minute. Can we get a little Halloween music going on here? Perfect. All right, let's get going. There's amazing Halloween decorations on the ticket booth, so that kind of kicks off your intro to Halloween at Disneyland. You cannot miss the Main Street Pumpkin Festival. As you're walking down Main Street USA, there are hand-carved pumpkins everywhere. The display is pretty amazing. It's one of my favorite parts about Halloween time at Disneyland. Each pumpkin is different, and so take some time to really enjoy them as you're strolling down Main Street because they are pretty fun and add a lot to the Halloween spirit. Make sure you have your picture taken by the giant pumpkin. One side is a smiley face, the other side has a winking face. Probably you should take your picture on both sides for good measure and ask your photographer to do a magic shot for you for an extra dose of holiday fun. What could be better than the characters at Disneyland? Characters wearing their Halloween costumes, of course. Many of the classic characters will be out in their Halloween attire and they could not be cuter. Each year their Halloween costumes are different. Make sure you stop by and say hello to Mickey Mouse and his friend Minnie Mouse. You'll probably also see all sorts of villains out mingling with guests. You can even see the Pumpkin King, Jack Skellington, and his good friend Sally. Jack Skellington has taken over the Haunted Mansion and has redecorated with festive touches inspired by Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Although I prefer the original, Tim Burton fans will love this holiday overlay. I also find it to be a little less spooky than the original and it may not be as frightening for some small children as the original version can be. Notice the gingerbread house on the table in the ballroom scene. That is an actual gingerbread house that's created each year for the Disneyland Halloween festivities. Make sure you take a deep breath when you pass through the ballroom because you'll be able to smell the gingerbread. Halloween Screams is a fun nighttime fireworks and projection show that happens on select nights. It's hosted by Jack Skellington and his ghostly dog, Zero. The show is really well done and gets you into the spirit of the Halloween season. You can join in the festivities in Frontierland. El Zocalo Park features iconic skeleton figures called Calacas, depicting a trio of mariachi musicians as well as brightly colored flowers and other decorative items seen in traditional ofrendas on the Day of the Dead. Stop by the Halloween tree in Frontierland on your visit. This oak tree is filled with jack-o'-lanterns and orange lights to celebrate the season. You can find the tree near the Golden Horseshoe, and the tree is inspired by the book The Halloween Tree by Ray Bradbury. Let's jump over to California Adventure Park because it is bursting with Halloween fun. Here are some things you're going to want to check out. You'll find festive Halloween decorations around the entire park, starting with Oogie Boogie's Grand Marquee at the entrance. Notice the black bat swarming Carthay Circle's theater bell tower and the Headless Horseman statue. The Headless Horseman statue lights up at night and makes for a great photo op. Cars Land goes all out for this season and you might even catch a glimpse of Lightning McQueen or Mater in their Halloween costumes. There's so much Halloween magic everywhere. Make sure you ride Luigi's Honkin' Halloween and Mater's Graveyard Jamboree for the Halloween celebration. These attractions have new soundtracks for the Halloween season that make them extra fun. Cars Land is arguably the cutest theme land in any of the Disney parks worldwide. Disney goes all out to decorate for Halloween time at Disneyland. It's a must see for sure. 
I recommend visiting during the day, but also again in the evening because Cars Land has a whole different vibe at night and you won't want to miss it. Make sure you notice the music playing while you're visiting. Many of the songs have words changed slightly to fit the Halloween Cars themed and it's such a fun touch. Over in Plaza de la Familia, they are celebrating the everlasting bonds of the family at this Dia de los Muertos celebration. You can enjoy a musical celebration of Coco, meet and create special memories with the film's main character, Miguel, and post personal messages to your loved ones on the memory wall. There's also a section set up for kids to enjoy free crafts. Make sure you don't miss that. Your kids will love it. One of the coolest things that happens over in California Adventure Park for Halloween time is Guardians of the Galaxy changes to Monsters After Dark if you arrive after 3 p.m. There's a whole new storyline for Monsters After Dark and a new song. During the Guardians of the Galaxy rescue attempt, Groot got left behind and you must help save him. The only problem is the tower is overrun with monsters. Can you distract the monsters long enough for Rocket to save Groot? We can't talk about Halloween time at the Disneyland Resort without talking about Oogie Boogie Bash. Each year, Disneyland hosts the Oogie Boogie Bash at California Adventure Park. This is my favorite of all the special events hosted by Disney. What could be better than a Disney Halloween party with free candy? If you're visiting for Halloween time at Disneyland, you really should consider it. It's a separately ticketed event full of Disney characters in their costumes. You'll find lots of villains, special effects, there's trick-or-treating on immersive treat trails, and a fun parade. Lots of guests choose to dress up for the Oogie Boogie Bash. I love seeing everyone in their costumes. Some people go all out and it's amazing. Redwood Creek Challenge Trail is transformed into Villains Grove for the party, and you just might spot your favorite Disney villains. It's an amazingly immersive experience that guests of all ages will love. Does anyone else get excited about food at Disneyland? Is it just me? No, I didn't think so. At Halloween time, Disney brings out some of the very best food. The Halloween treats at Disneyland are legendary. They are different every single year, so you never know what you're gonna get, but I have never been disappointed. Okay, amazing, right? Now, I know what you're thinking after hearing all of the Halloween stuff. Melissa, Halloween time wins. No need to continue with the video. We can stop right there, but not so fast. Let's give the holidays a fighting chance and see what they have to offer. It's only fair. But first, bibbity bobbity boop that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. The holidays kick off mid-November and run through early January. Let's start with Disneyland. The holidays at Disneyland would not be complete without some incredible decorations. At the Disney theme parks, they go all out for the holidays and you're going to be really impressed with all of the attention to detail and the decorations. Pay close attention because the decorations are themed to go along with each land, and it really adds to the festive environment. Along Main Street USA, you'll find holiday window displays with festive wreaths and garlands, and you can't miss the incredible Christmas tree that's trimmed with thousands of ornaments. Sleeping Beauty's castle is covered in garlands and thousands of icicle lights. Check it out at night, it really is incredible. Each land has specially themed Christmas trees. I especially love the trees in Toontown in front of Mickey and Minnie's houses. Make sure you check out It's a Small World After Dark. It is covered in over 50,000 lights. The Disney characters will be out and about in their holiday finest. For most of them, this means a festive holiday sweater, possibly a cute hat. Their outfits are different every single year, and I love getting pictures with them during the holidays. The holidays at Disneyland wouldn't be complete without a parade. A Christmas fantasy parade is full of holiday fun. Your favorite Disney characters join Santa for a merry musical celebration. I like to watch the parade near It's a Small World for lower crowds. The parades usually run twice daily. The first show is during the day and the second show is after dark. I prefer the second one because the floats are all lit up and I think it's a little more fun after dark. The classic attraction It's a Small World gets a holiday makeover and is all spruced up for the season. I've already talked about all the lights on the outside, but inside It's a Small World, beloved holiday tunes are interwoven with the classic It's a Small World song, and it really works well. 
You're going to notice all of the fun holiday themed decorations throughout the attraction. And if you pay close attention, there are seasonal scents like cinnamon and pine that are pumped in to different areas of the ride. Believe in Holiday Magic is the holiday fireworks and projection show for the season. It's pretty great. This special holiday show is the perfect way to end your magical Disney day. Along with fireworks on select nights and magical music, you'll be treated to more than 80,000 twinkling lights that illuminate Sleeping Beauty's winter castle with sparkling icicles and shimmering snow-capped turrets. At the end of this amazing show, you'll be able to experience a sprinkling of snow near the castle, by It's a Small World, and on portions of Main Street, USA. I already touched on it a little bit, but Sleeping Beauty's Castle is transformed into wintertime enchantment at Sleeping Beauty's Castle. It's gorgeous. It's adorned with lights and icicles and garlands. It's really beautiful during the day, but at night is when it really shines. In the evening, you can gather to see the iconic castle shimmer to life. There's a little snowfall, music fills the air, and you can watch as thousands of twinkling lights illuminate the castle. The 60-foot tall Christmas tree at the beginning of Main Street is lit up each night during a special lighting ceremony. This usually happens right about sunset and it's a fun thing to catch if you're in the area. Jack Skellington is still decking the halls with frightfully festive decorations throughout the mansion. This attraction is incredibly popular during the holiday season. Did you know you can meet Santa at Disneyland? And if you don't visit Santa, did you even experience the holidays at Disneyland? I don't think so. While you're at Disneyland, you can find Santa at Pooh's Thoughtful Spot in Critter Country. You can also catch a glimpse of him at the end of a Christmas fantasy parade. The holidays are not about to be left behind in the food game, and there are always some delicious foods just for the holiday season. Maybe the most popular offering that comes back year after year is the Mickey Mouse Gingerbread Cookies. Let's hop over to Disney California Adventure Park. California Adventure Park is also filled with amazing decorations to celebrate the holidays. Of course, you'll find a giant tree, but you'll also find garlands and amazing window displays up and down Buena Vista Street. Keep an eye out for the little holiday details around the park because they are everywhere. The Disney characters will be out and about in their holiday finest over on this side of the park. Their holiday outfits are different, so make sure you check them out here too. Mickey and his friends usually hang out around Buena Vista Street. You really shouldn't miss World of Color Season of Light. Enjoy pure holiday magic through song, water, and light during this incredible show. The Viva Navidad Street Party is one of my favorite parts of the holidays at Disneyland. Join Donald Duck and his amigos at the Ultimate Family Fiesta, a holly jolly joyous celebration through the streets. Viva Navidad is a fun party and certainly worth your time. You can also meet Santa over at California Adventure Park. The Redwood Creek Challenge Trail has been transformed into a joy-filled playground during the holidays at the Disneyland Resort. It's complete with seasonal games and outdoor activities for all to explore. This is my very favorite place to meet Santa. Cars Land is ready for the holidays at Disneyland with some amazing decorations and two festive ride overlays. First, enjoy Mater's Jingle Jamboree and Luigi's Joy to the Whirl. Then take a stroll down Route 66 to check out the car-inspired decorations. If you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of Santa Mater rolling through town. You can check out the Buena Vista Street Holiday Tree Lighting. Watch as the towering 50-foot tree in Town Square twinkles to life with a kaleidoscope of colored lights, hundreds of whimsical ornaments, and swags of gleaming garland. Make sure you don't miss the Holiday Toy Drummers. This show is playful and so much fun. Plus, the musicians are very talented. Mickey's Happy Holidays is a fun little mini parade that happens several times a day. It's full of Mickey and his pals along with the toy drummers. Don't miss this little slice of holiday fun. Of course, you'll also find lots of special holiday food and drink options throughout California Adventure Park. And you're not going to want to miss Disney's Festival of the Holidays. This seasonal celebration is filled with multicultural and diverse live music, food, and fun for all ages. Enjoy this celebration that includes Christmas, Hanukkah, Diwali, Kwanzaa, and Three Kings Day. Alright, the holidays 
sound pretty amazing too, not gonna lie. Now is the moment. It's time to make your decision. This has to be done. Gun to your head, Halloween time or the holidays. What's it gonna be? Pause the video right now. Tell me in the comments because I wanna know what you think. I always say that Halloween time is my favorite until the holidays roll around and then the holidays are my favorite. Is this a cop-out? Yes, for sure, 100% a cop-out because I love them both. But if I had to pick, you're forcing me to pick a favorite, I'm gonna go with Halloween time. I recently pulled my Instagram community and asked them which was better, Halloween time or the holidays, and 46% of them said that Halloween time was their favorite. That means that 54% prefer the holidays. So it was a super close competition, but according to that poll, the holidays win. But I wanna know what you think, so make sure you tell me in the comments, Halloween time or the holidays. One of my very favorite parts of Halloween time is the Oogie Boogie Bash. Check out this video so you can see what it's all about.